So this video is going to sound super scripted because it is. <laughs> um, I tried to do this naturally uh, and I couldn't get the right words out at the right time and then I tried doing notes but then it just kind of looked like I was reading notes rather than being personal and then I just wrote everything down in one document and decided to just read it no matter how it sounded just to get everything out at least as close to how I want it as possible. So if this sounds scripted, it is. But I have some exciting news. <laughs> um, and this is super exciting because I know that there are so many of you that would love to support the gallery, but you find it hard to get in or due to the ups and downs of the pandemic, find it uncomfortable just to attend events and I get it. And as the world throws curveballs every other week, we have to evolve and go with the flow of this particular moment in history. That being said, in order for me to adequately and efficiently make that difference, Hemnock Block will not, will no longer, oh, I can't mess that part up. Hemlock were no, Hemlock will no longer reside at 9 North 2nd Street in Easton. Though the physical space is closing, the commitment to marginalized artists continues. Hemlock space will close up shop at the end of April, but I invite you to participate in the last few weeks of events so I can go out with a bang. We have Jane Dell with I Need a Dream, Marianne Riker, Lillian Maya, and Sofia Fernandez Salvador in Itty Bitty Artie Committee, and Andy Tipton with Black Thumb. We also have some events peppered in there, including some 420 fun, readings, artist demos, and finally, the funeral of Hemlock. But it's not the end. It's sort of like a party, like see you in the afterlife kind of party. I just want to assure you that Hemlock and my mission, we're not going anywhere, but I do feel that I need, that I can be more efficient and helpful without the overhead costs of this physical space. This change will allow you to not only purchase items online, but also view more art, partake in online workshops and online social events, and possibly in the future in-person events as well. I will be able to spend more time and resources in the Easton community to further emphasize and support my message of inclusion in the arts. I hope that you will continue to support Hemlock by liking Hemlock on Instagram and TikTok and um, in stay informed on news and events and all kinds of new funs, fun things coming up in the future on Hemlock.com. I am excited to have more opportunities to make and show my own work and spend time with my family while still supporting the arts community in Easton. See you around and make more art.